Hello, and thank you for joining me. My name is John Hoyt. I'm the Solutions Consultant at TMC, and this is a distribution webinar for Dynamics GP 2010. Let's start by creating a new sales order. I'll identify my customer, and I can do that by filtering on their name. And once I've selected that customer, I can elect to create a new sales order. Now as I start to fill out the details for that sales order, you can see that I'm entering in header information as well as the line level information for this. As I enter the first item number and tab over to my quantity field, I get a notification that I don't have an available quantity, so I'll choose to back order that. And then I'm going to search and see if there are any open purchase orders for that item. And there are, so I can associate my sales order with that purchase order. Enter my second line item, and again enter my quantity. I'll choose again to back order the balance. And now when I check for a purchase order, I discover that there aren't any open POs for that specific item. So I'm going to take advantage of GP2010's capability and generate that purchase order myself. Verify that I have the item information correct and generate the purchase order. That's the end of the line items that I need to enter on that sales order, so I'll go ahead and minimize that. Next step, I need to issue the two purchase orders. So I'll pull those POs up and we'll print that to the screen. Do my auto receive for the items that are coming in. And receive those items into my system. Now with GP2010, the process of receiving those items will update the back ordered quantities on the open sales order that we created just a minute ago. We'll print that receiving up to the screen along with my back ordered items received list. I'll cancel the rest of these documents. There's my posting for the receipt and the back ordered items that I have received or the open sales order. And you can see that sales order number has been referenced. Finally, I'll reopen my sales order and we'll go to the detail view of my line items and you can see that the quantity ordered and the quantity fulfilled have now been matched to the quantity ordered initially. So that item has been fully received and fulfilled. It's now ready to be transferred to an invoice. No errors during my transfer from order to invoice. And here's my finished invoice document ready to go out the door. So to recap, we started with a sales order. We're told by the system that I didn't have quantities available. Was able to associate one line with an open PO and generate a new PO for the second line and now print my invoice out, ready to go out to the customer. Distribution functionality in Dynamics GP 2010. And I hope you'll join me again for my future webinars. Again, my name is John Hoyt, and I'm the Solutions Consultant with TMC. Thank you very much for viewing this.